Hello everyone, this is Gruesome Herzog. What we're going to talk about today is called Carrie in 2013. Here's the storyline. A shy girl, outcasted by her peers, sheltered by her religious mother, and unleashes a telekinetic terror on her small town after being pushed too far at her senior prom. Directed by Kimberly Pierce, written by Lawrence D. Cohen, Roberto Aguirre Sasca, and of course, the legend himself, Stephen King. Here's the cast. Julianne Moore as Margaret White. Chloe Grace Moretz as Carrie White. Gabriella Wilde as Sue Snell. Portia Doubleday as Chris Harginson. Zoe Belkin as Tina. Samantha Weinstein as Heather. Carissa Strain as Nikki. Katie Strain as Lizzie. Ansel Egort as Tommy Ross. Demetrius Joyette as George, and Judy Greer as Ms. Jesjardin. And the cast goes on. Wow. Now, I don't know why I didn't watch this until now. I reviewed this until now. Obviously, I reviewed the classic from 76. So I finally popped it in and gave it a watch, or digital watch, however you want to say it. The classic from 76 with Sissy Spacek is a masterpiece never seen before now this is a remaster a remake of the same film with the moral of the story is the same but the outgoing storyline is different there's some really really crazy shit in this film one of the cast members in this movie he is now a SWAT team member on the TV show SWAT and he was the one that is a boyfriend of one of the psycho girls when he went into the pig farm to kill a pig with a sledgehammer to get the pig's blood in order to dump it on top of Carrie at the prom. Wow. The, the cast and his crew was amazing. The storyline was great. But then when she lost her shit and started going crazy. So the story goes, obviously, Tommy asks her out in the prom, even though she he's dating somebody else, but he was really sincere. He was just trying to take her out on a prom date because everybody kept making fun of her. Her girlfriend's all for it. So she decided to stay home. Well, you have the the ex-friend, the evil, self-centered bitch, and her crew wanted her to pay at the prom. As I mentioned, they would do the pig's blood and stuff. Very, 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 very impressive remake of Carrie. I really enjoyed this one. It's better than I thought it was going to be, really. It's one of the reasons why I kind of held back from watching it until 10 years later. It's kind of weird. So, after the incident at the prom, you know the story there at Pig Blood, she loses her shit. She's had it. It doesn't just stop there. The two idiots, punks, jackass bitches, took off in the car, and she took care of them as well. Gas pumps, everything, you name it fucking brilliant and at the end of the film was really really sad just like the original was that being said Julianne Moore played her mother she was religious I think borderline fucking psycho just like the mother in the original all hell breaks loose it's just a phenomenal movie this pacing the storyline the cast the way it was shot fucking brilliant if you haven't seen it folks like me who waited 10 years later, this movie is well worth a watch. It's a really good remake. Carrie, 2013. It's well worth a watch. Gruesome said that. I know. I'm late. But ones who are just like me who have not seen it, definitely check it out. Or if you have seen it, go back and watch it again. It's been 10 years. That being said, this is Gruesome Herzog. I give this movie an 8 out of 10. Absolutely impressed. Definitely check it out. This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.